Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. I did a video not that long ago titled something like the seven things I hate about my Tacoma and they were very nitpicky. There was like, like literally I talked about the volume controls on my steering wheel. That's an easy video to make because they're very specific little things, easy to point out. But the video gave people, I think, the wrong impression. People thought I hated my Tacoma and they thought I wanted to get rid of it or something. On the contrary, I love, I, I love my Tacoma, which is why of the seven things I thought that I hated, they were all very, very small. Since that video, I've been bombarded with people asking me to do a things I love about my Tacoma. I did say I would probably do one in that video. If you're curious about that video, maybe I'll link it. I'll probably forget, but you could search on my channel or just Google seven things I hate about my Tacoma and it'll probably come up. So this video, just to preface it, it's going to be just talking. It's just going to be if, if you don't like my face, then don't watch it. Just listen to it. If you don't like talking videos, then watch another video. I have a lot of other videos that have less talking. So anyway, Let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm gonna kind of be talking about the reasons that I chose a Tacoma, the reasons that I still own a Tacoma, and the reasons that I love my Tacoma. I'm wearing a beanie, my garage is cold. I did the last video while I was in my garage, so I said I'll just do this video while I'm in my garage. Again, it's in like the teens outside, I think, right now. I'm wearing a beanie. Uh, these are beanies, I ordered like 100 of them. I'm getting them embroidered right now. Uh, so they're gonna be LLOD beanies. So if you're into beanies, stay tuned. I'll, I'll talk more about them later. I will offer them to my Patreons, patrons first. So if you're a patron, you'll get first access to these when they are released. They may sell out, they may not, I don't know. And let's get on to the Tacoma. So let's give a little backstory maybe why I even own a Tacoma. I've had various trucks, I've had various SUVs, and I've had a bunch of cars, motorcycles, a lot of vehicles in my life. This is a 2016 Toyota Tacoma off-road that I bought in 2016. I moved from the suburbs where I was driving a Volkswagen GTI to the mountains and the day that I closed on my house or the day that I moved into my house I think I went to the Toyota dealership and I bought a brand new Tacoma. So that was fun and I bought it for some reasons. I knew I was going to be living in the mountains, I knew there was going to be a lot more snow, I knew I needed something that had four-wheel drive. I do a lot of outdoor activities so it always made sense. My GTI was just kind of I was commuting and it was a fun, fast little car and it didn't make a lot of sense for the things that I did, but the, the bulk of my time was spent in the city. So it made, it made sense as well. Anyways, I moved to the mountains. I wanted a truck. I was gonna do a lot of home improvements projects like landscaping stuff. I had some chickens and anyway, it's just putting stuff in the back of the truck was just I knew I wanted a truck, but I didn't want a big truck because I was still going to be in the city and I was like, oh, I'm probably going to do some trails now and the trails are going to be tight and I didn't want a big truck, right? For Because I, I don't really tow anything and I had no need for a big truck. I didn't have kids or anything like that. So the Tacoma fit the bill and that's how we got here to this Tacoma. So that's the backstory. And then let's talk about one other thing real quick, another real quick preface, which is things I talk about about the Tacoma, I get that other cars or other trucks may have these features as well. So I'm not going to be talking about things that are only exclusive to the Tacoma. So before you start getting down in the comments, like, oh, Ford Raptor has that, my Chevy Colorado has that. I, I get it. There's, there's features that are shared by multiple cars. So that's cool. So let's just kind of get into why I love my Tacoma, I guess. The most important thing always is how something looks, right? I'm, I'm kind of joking, but I do like the looks of the Tacoma. I like the Gen 1 Tacomas. I wasn't a huge fan of the Gen 2 Tacomas, which is why I never bought one, and I knew a redesign was going to be right around the corner, so I held out till the Gen 3 came out, and at first... I didn't like it that much. I liked it more than Gen 2s, but I didn't like it that much. But it was one of those things that grew on me a ton, and now I look at the Gen 3 Tacomas, especially when they're kitted out a little bit like mine is, and I'm just like, ooh. Every time you walk out to your, your truck in the parking lot, you're like, oh, that is a good looking truck, right? And that's how I kind of feel. If you're gonna spend money on something, 
it might as well be something that you're gonna use and that you're gonna see every single day. I don't mind spending money on stuff I'm gonna be in every day. I'm gonna be using my truck every day. I'm gonna be walking out to the garage and looking at it or walking out to it in the parking lot and looking at it and I'm like, ooh, it makes me feel good every time. And that's very materialistic and you might not agree, but that for me, I'm like, I like that. So modifications on my truck, I get to enjoy every single day. Some are performance modifications, some are just looks. And anyways, the Tacoma has those looks I was looking for. It's a good looking truck. So that's one reason I love the Tacoma. Now we'll get into some more practical reasons. The size of the Tacoma, like I mentioned earlier, actually I owned a similarly sized truck. I owned a four door Nissan Frontier back in college. And I actually liked the truck. It, it had some issues, but for what I was doing at the time, it, it worked well. Uh, I could have got a Tacoma and I went with the Frontier because there was a good deal on it and I liked it. I had no issues and I really liked the four doors and the size of it and I was playing hockey and I could just throw my hockey gear in the back and if you play hockey you know it kind of kind of stinks, right? So it was nice to throw in the bed of the truck and it was just, it worked for me at the time. So I had owned a mid-sized truck and I knew that I liked it. Now, fast forward to 2016, well now, back then in 2016, there was the Colorado just got reintroduced and there's the Tacoma and that was really it in the size department. The Colorado, oh, I knew it was gonna be worth like half of what I bought it for like two years down the road. Reliability, who knows, historically they weren't great. Toyotas were, so there's really in my mind it was the Tacoma or or nothing. There wasn't a lot of competition in the marketplace at the time. Now the Ford Rangers coming back, the Colorado is a little more established, but still the Tacoma's probably king. So for size, it was the only thing in its class, but why did I want that size, right? Like I mentioned earlier, I don't have kids, I don't haul a boat or a trailer or anything that really needs that extra power of a full-size truck, but I did want to haul stuff, you know, mulch or quick read or building supplies or shooting gear, whatever. So the size, I did want the bed. I want something small. Like I said, I live near Denver, well, near-ish to Denver. So I go down and I park and I commute and I don't want a big old thing. And I go on tight trails and smaller, smaller roads, backcountry roads and stuff where just a vehicle that's a little smaller, like a Tacoma just makes sense. So the size is perfect for what I do. Sometimes do I wish my bed was eight foot? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes do I wish I was driving a GTI and I could fit into that tight little parking spot? sometimes, but overall, the size is good. And also, a full-size truck wouldn't fit in my little garage. I don't have a huge garage, so I wanted to park in the garage. This truck fit. It was like the biggest truck that I could reasonably fit in my garage, so that was another one. Uh, some of you might ask why I went with the short bed versus the long bed. Uh, long bed's not as renewable, has a longer wheelbase, but mostly I just hate how they look, honestly. Uh, so there's obviously some huge benefits to having six foot bed instead of a five foot bed, but I went with the five foot bed because I like it. Now the utility of this truck versus an SUV. Again, I've kind of alluded to some reasons that the truck fit me better, uh, but also why didn't I get uh, the extended cab instead of the four door or whatever? And the reason is because I still, I work with people, we drive out to lunch and stuff sometimes, and I could use the excuse, sorry, I can't drive because I don't have a back seat, but I, I liked having a back, back seat. I like throwing my dog in there. So four doors make sense. I throw gear back there sometimes. People can fit back there. I can fit five adults, not that comfortably in the back seat, but I could fit five adults in here with all of our gear in the back. So the utility is huge. It can still tow a decent amount, like anything I would probably tow, I can still tow in this thing. Uh, I have roof racks on the top, so I can still haul kayaks, canoes, whatever I want on top if I need to. Uh, I can haul, you know, long 12 foot pieces of lumber if I need to. So the utility is there for everything that I do. I obviously have this thing kitted out for overlanding and things of that nature, so it works great great for that rooftop tent on the bed, not on the roof, but I can put more stuff on the roof. So the utility is is perfect again for me. The utility of the Tacoma mixed with the size is just a great fit for my lifestyle. And then we have the off-road capability of the truck mixed with its pretty decent on road manners. It's not gonna handle like a sports car or a sedan on the road. Obviously it's a truck, but it handles pretty well on the road, even with the modifications I have done to it. At the same time, it's a very capable trail rig. I'm gonna hurt some feelings here, but just 
raw capability, a stock Tacoma isn't going to compare to a stock Jeep Wrangler or really anything with straight axles out there on the market right now, which for the most part really is just the Jeep Wrangler for modern day vehicles. So I'll admit that a Jeep, a comparably equipped Jeep Wrangler is going to, is going to do better on most trails than a Tacoma. Having said that, a Tacoma is one of the most capable rigs stock, and with a little bit of work that you put into it, it's one of the most capable vehicles non-stock. So trail capability, which was always kind of in the back of my mind when I bought the truck. I wasn't super, I had been into wheeling previously. Uh, I had a Jeep Wrangler, I had a really tricked out Suzuki Samurai, I had a Land Rover Discovery. So wheeling was always a thing that I liked and enjoyed and overlanding, I guess, before it was called overlanding. So I knew I kind of wanted to do that. I wanted the, the ability to do that when I first bought my Tacoma. And now, especially with the modifications I've done, it is a hugely capable rig. So it is also my daily driver. So I wanted something that would still be a good daily driver, have the utility, and still be able to handle trails. Now, all of that stuff really comes into play, making it a really great trail vehicle. It's easy to put racks on top if I want to put more storage on there. It handles the trails well. If I'm bringing a bunch of stuff with me. I have a truck bed that I can fill up, load up with stuff and still put a tent on the back. And hey, I still have the whole cab, five seats in here to haul people, my dog, more gear, whatever. So for a trail rig, for overlanding, a Tacoma makes a lot of a lot of sense. Sport utilities have some advantages. The main one that I see in a sport utility, something like a 4Runner, is that if you're, if you want to, you can sleep inside, which is nice. There's there's kind of, I kind of want to get like an old Land Cruiser or something just for when I'm doing solo trips or whatever and just don't feel like pitching a tent. And I just want to sleep inside of the truck and inside of the SUV. And so that's kind of one benefit that I could think that an SUV has that I kind of miss out having a truck, but otherwise an excellent and capable trail rig. And another very important area to me is aftermarket support. Now a Jeep Wrangler will have more aftermarket support, but as far as trucks are concerned and the things that I'm into, a Tacoma's kind of the Glock in the aftermarket world. I'm saying that because a Tacoma is like a Glock in that it's just, it's reliable, it's relatively basic, it's it's gonna treat you well, and miles and miles and miles, or rounds and rounds and rounds down the road, you can depend on it to save your life, or in the case of a Tacoma, it has saved some lives, tundras, there's a, there's a viral kind of photo going around this guy from my old tangent right here, tangent right here. There's a white tundra, you've probably seen it on Instagram or maybe on the internet, was used, a guy, a, a great guy used it to drive in and out of my old town, Paradise, California, which completely burnt to the ground, unfortunately. Uh, not completely, but the majority of the town is burned to the ground. I don't know if you've seen it on the news or not. But anyways, his tundra, literally burnt like charred looks like a charred marshmallow but kept on going i'm not saying another truck would have wouldn't have done it but toyota bomb proof now what was i talking about oh yeah huge tangent because i was talking about aftermarket support compared it to glocks reliability longevity all that stuff but like glocks in the gun world tacomas have a huge amount of aftermarket support because they are popular uh, for overlanding, right? So I'm into overlanding and it's good to have a community that centers around one truck more than everything else, that truck being the Tacoma. So the aftermarket support in the Tacoma world, in the overlanding world, which is kind of probably why you're watching this channel, a lot of you, is great. There's no other truck that has more overland support than the Tacoma, at least in the US right now. I'm talking trucks. There's more support for Wranglers, like I mentioned. There's a decent amount of support for Forerunners. But trucks, Tacoma, number one aftermarket support. Awesome, which also brings about the community, the forum support, the videos you're going to get, the people like me, for instance, they're going to follow on social media and get ideas for your own build. There's going to be more of them for the Tacoma than anything else out there right now. So that is another huge plus. And then some other minor things are, I really like the bed rail system in the Tacoma. Uh, it's basically a track system that you can lock things in and mount, you know, 
cans and axes and high lifts and everything and it it is modular to accept bed rack systems and all, all kinds of stuff so the bed bed rail system the track system whatever it's called in the bed of the truck awesome that's kind of a minor one uh, interior there's a lot of good storage there's a lot of good nooks and crannies and there's some aftermarket support for different center console things and different glove compartment things I, I made an Amazon store recently where I have a list I'll link to it down below but if, if you don't want to link to it if you just want to type it in it's amazon.com slash shop slash last line of defense one word there you'll find a list that's Tacoma and I put some of my favorite things in that list. So if you're ever wondering like, oh, what's that cup holder thing that Mike had? Or what's that center console organization thing that Mike had? I'm gonna list it all on my Amazon shop, which I'll link down below and I just told you where it was. But yeah, a lot of good storage space. Nice storage behind the back seats, nice storage under the back seats, nice storage in the cab, good map pockets, good storage in the bed, little cubbies that some people find useless, but I shove all my uh, tie down straps and stuff in those cubbies. So. Uh, if you really optimize storage like I do, the Tacoma is really, really good. I'm about due for an interior kind of walk around showing you all of my storage and how I kind of have this thing kitted out interior. So if you want to see that video, comment down below and let me know and I will I will do a new video. I did an old video, it's really crappy, uh, but I'll do a new video with kind of the new hotness that I have in here and you can look forward to that, but comment down below if you wanna see it. And yeah, there's a lot of other little things, a, little, a lot of little niceties that are on the Tacoma, but a lot of those things are shared by a lot of other vehicles out there, so I'm not gonna get too, too into the other kind of little things that I like because I think we sufficiently covered kind of the main reasons that I like my Tacoma, that I love my Tacoma. So if there's some other stuff you think I missed, comment down below. If there's some things that you just disagree with, comment down below. If there's other vehicles that you think check all these boxes, comment down below. I know there will be some Chevy Colorado fans out there that are like, the Chevy Colorado has more power and this and that. And ah, the, the Colorado seems like a, a fine truck, but time will tell. Toyota's kind of tested and proven and great. Uh, I could do a video. I, I could find someone with a Colorado. I could compare it to the Tacoma and I could talk about all the reasons that I got the, the Tacoma instead of the Colorado. But the Col Colorado checks some boxes that the Tacoma doesn't check probably. And probably the new Ford Ranger will check some boxes that the Tacoma doesn't check. Uh, so it's not, I'm not saying you need a Tacoma or I'm not going to be your friend, but you asked for a video uh, on why I like the Tacoma. So that's what you got. I think that's going to wrap it up for me tonight, folks. As always, hit that like button. It takes two seconds. Helps me out. Comment down below. Say hey. Comment anything else you want. Comments are great. Get subscribed to the channel. Definitely turn on that notification icon if you want to be the first to comment. Typically, the first few comments, if you have questions or something, I usually will pay a little more attention to that. Once the video kind of gets older, uh, I tend to miss comments and whatnot. So notification squad's always awesome. Uh, so get subscribed, get notified, become part of the notification squad. I'm having trouble talking because I've been talking for a while. Anyway, guys, take care.